Hi, you're watching the third installment of the Nance Button Appliance. In this video, I'm going to show you five of my personal tips that I use every time I make this appliance to make it better. So here we go. This is an important one. Check your wire to make sure it's not too hot. If that wire is hot, then you can't put the acrylic on because you'll get tons of porosity. The second tip is um, one that most people don't do, and that is to apply a layer of separator, let it dry for a minute, and apply a second layer of separator. This will really help when you go to remove the appliance and you won't have any plaster stuck to the acrylic because when you heat a model, it tends to break up the plaster and when you, if you only use one layer of separator, you'll get pieces of plaster in your acrylic. Step three, applying the acrylic. This is I use the salt and pepper method and you definitely have to make sure that the that the acrylic is flowing underneath the one millimeter the one millimeter space of wire. Step four, finishing. I use an e-cutter and that e-cutter is um, pretty cool because I can use the e-cutter on metal and go directly to the acrylic and back to metal with the special e-cutter. So in this tip I like to demonstrate that I don't change hand piece, I don't change my burrs every two seconds. I just use the same burr to complete the same job. Tip number five tapering. I cannot stress this enough. You need to taper all your acrylic, taper all your solder joints for the most comfortable fit and so the child won't play with the appliance. You can see I just demonstrated um, how I'm rubbing my finger with the burr to show you that I'm not aggressive at it. I'm just finishing it very lightly. Enough where I can run the burr along my finger and it's doesn't do anything. That's just to demonstrate that I'm not pushing hard on the acrylic. I let the burr do the work, not the handpiece. I also like, if you noticed, I like to finish my, most of my bulk acrylic on the model. This way you're absorbing the most heat through the model and not your fingers. Now some beginners, um, if you have an employee or you're doing this yourself and you want to try it, I would draw the circle that you want so you don't screw it up. If you've made enough of them, then you can, you can just um, simulate the circle in your hand. You don't need to draw it out. But I highly recommend that you do draw a circle. Take a, like a black marker or a sharpie and draw a circle so you're not cutting off and making a lopsided circle. That could happen very easy. And again, tapering, tapering, tapering. That's the key to a very good fitting um, band in the child's mouth. If it's a little bulky along the bands, the appliance will not seat. If it's a little bulky in acrylic, it gives their tongue something to play with and they'll try to lift it up. If it's nice and smooth and tapered, It'll fit right in the patient's mouth and it'll fit awesome and their tongue will glide against it and it'll stay in and do exactly what it's supposed to do.
And like I said in uh, video one, the Nance button has so many so many different um, techniques that are involved, and it's it's so much more work than people believe because it just looks so it's so small and dainty looking. And it's just oh, it's a ball of acrylic on a wire, but realistically, you can see in these steps, it takes a lot of work. This final step, I'll switch one burr, and this is like a tapering burr, where I can get into all the nooks and crannies and really do a good job of finishing. I can also scrape off the oxidation from the solder. And I could have used heat shield, but um, it's not necessarily it, not necessary if you are pretty good at soldering. So I highly suggest you watch my soldering video to learn techniques. If you like the vi this video, please give me a thumbs up and watch the next videos coming out. Thanks for your time.